All right, welcome to part five of the Lantern tutorial. So I took a little break and I was just playing around with some settings. And I was using Mental Ray at first, and I came up with this image on the right here. Uh, this is just with a basic wood shader from the architecture or the arch and design materials. It was pretty easy, and uh, just to put a little light in there. And there's one off to the side. But the problem I came across was I couldn't quite get this paper texture in Mental Ray. Now, I read about people using translucency and things for it, or the SSS shaders. I played around with it for a while, but couldn't really get the results I wanted, so I switched to V-Ray, and was able to get something close to this, but uh, we'll play around with that a little bit later. Um, but yeah, just to see that even in Mental Ray, you can get the textures that are really close, I mean, even the shadows, soft shadows, and whatnot. But anyway, I just wanted to show you that little tidbit. So here we are, uh, back in Max. I don't remember where exactly I left off, but I don't think I had these, so I'm probably going to delete them. Alright, and Alt-W will get rid from uh, 4 to 1. And this one... Okay, so I think I was... Actually, let's... There we go. I know I was working on these things, and then... Ah, it was these. Okay. So let me isolate this. Alright, and let's finish working on these. So we are in editable poly, and whoa. Okay, we were trying to make all these look nice. So, let's go to edge selection here. Select these edges. And... Okay, connect two connections and just bring them up to the top there. Top and bottom actually. And let me see if that one is good now. I think I want them a little closer. So edge, you already have them selected so just bring it up a little. Deselect this one, go down here and bring this one down. Alright, and that should make it a little harder, which it does. Okay. Next, we're going to want to... Whoa. Okay, there we go. I'm actually going to select this edge, ring, oops, sorry, not ring, uh, loop. Press W and bring it over a little bit. It's a little bit too flat for my liking. Do the same on this side. I'm going to go back here. It'll smooth it up just a bit more. Alright, maybe we need to do even more than that. So let's... Um, let's see what we want. Edge. Hmm. Okay, loop. And let's bring it even farther that way. Actually, no, you know, no, let's not do that. Let's leave it where it was. A little bit back. And then we'll go here, ring, connect with two. And there we go. That should do the trick, and it does. There we go. Nice, flat, hard edge. Which is what we're looking for. Alright, now let's just copy this element to the other places. So go to your element selection, and shift-drag. Okay. Clone to element, and then select the other one, and delete it. And then, let's see... Yep, we did the right one. So, that's good. Now what we can do is use these two and drag them down. So, select both of these elements here. And just drag them down to match up with these two on the bottom here. And then, select the other one, delete it. And delete. Okay. Now we've got 
almost all of them done. Just checking that I deleted the right ones. Okay. Um, next, we're actually just going to make copies of these elements. So, select this one, E. Uh, make sure you have angle snap on with A. Shift and drag 90 degrees. Clone to element. Press W to move. You can go in the front viewport to do this. And that's really white, but okay. And just line it up. Delete the other one. And then do the same over here. Delete. Whoa. Didn't actually copy. There we go. Okay. And delete. Perspective. Alright, and next, select these two, shift drag up, cloned element, and let's just get these as close as we can, right there, select the other one, delete, and delete. Finally, we have these long ones, so I'll select this. E, shift, rotate 90, clone to element, go to your uh, front view, and drag this into place here. Make it as perfect as you can get it. Okay. And then go into your vertex sub-object mode, and just drag these verts down to the bottom here and line them up as best you can. Element, select the other one and delete. Last but not least, bring this one over, shift, drag, clone, and then line it up. Okay, select the other element, delete. Perspective with P, J to get rid of those stupid bounding box things. Mesh smooth, and go. Alright, that looks nice. Now all the edges are nice and smooth. And uh, they're looking pretty good. So, let's exit isolation mode by clicking. And now, actually let's hide this. There we go. Um, let's which one is it? So this one is the correct one. So go in the left hand viewport, I guess, and just, yeah, we can delete all the rest of these now that we know which one is the correct one. So let's delete. And the reason I actually made these, even though it took a little bit of time, was just to get the overall feel of the uh, model. So it doesn't quite feel right with the basic ones and I don't want to make more. So let's shift drag, copy. Um, let's just put the, uh, put the pivot in the center of the object. E, I'll rotate it 180 degrees. Okay, press W to move. And we'll go in the left hand viewport here. And just put it right up to the edge. I'm actually going to uh, select this one here and bring it a bit back. Okay, perspective. So select it, shift drag, copy, E, rotate 90 degrees. Okay, go into your left view, press F3, and just drag it position it correctly. So right about there. Seems to be good. Yep, okay. Perspective. And then go in your front. F3. And line it up. Okay, looks good. And last but not least, the other side. So shift drag, copy, E, rotate 180, W, uh, left, or L, to go in the left viewport, 
line it up with the other one. Okay, perspective and drag here, front, which is F, and line it up. And there we go. Now that we got that part done, it's looking a little bit better. I also noticed uh, a couple things here on the reference model. You can see how uh, this is a bit shorter and ours is a bit longer on the, the base part. So I'm going to shrink our base a bit. So just go into the editable poly front and select all these and just drag it up a bit. Okay. Um, let's see here. Anything else I wanted to change? Let's see. Perspective F3. Mm. That looks pretty good for now. We could probably shorten these a bit, but they're not bad. Alright, so now that we've got that, we can work on these pieces here. So what is it? There are two pieces we need to do. This one and this one. Then we'll just copy them for all the rest. So, let's just um, go into Edge. Uh, yeah, this would be the easiest. Um, connect with two connections. And, sorry, not slide. Whoa. Well, apparently it doesn't want to go to zero. There we go. Pinch towards the edges here. Turn that off. Okay. And select these edges here. Connect. And that's actually too far. So connect. And bring it in just a bit. Finally, these ones. Let me just double check here. Connect and bring them in. Okay. Now when we apply mesh smooth, should be good to go. Yep, it is nice and smooth. So now we can delete uh, this and these as well. Even though it's a little different shape, we'll. Uh, be able to work with it. So just shift drag it over. Line it up. Okay. And just make sure you save every once in a while. Saving's your best friend. Alright. Um, let's shift drag these down. Copy. Zoom in here a bit. And just until I touch. Now go into your object here, select these bottom vertices, and then just bring them up. Okay, perfect. So next, just copy this over, shift drag, copy, and let's line this one up to the front. Okay, it's looking good. So now we have all those done. And that is not looking half bad. Alright, um, I guess we'll stop with this part and continue on to the next one where we'll build the top. So this kind of looking piece here, I don't know what it looks like, but some Asian word I'm sure. Alright, see you in the next part.